and it puts the fire out. So, let's see some more gaseous CO2. Okay, so we're going to do an experiment today that Martin Polyakov has been on at us to do for a while, so we're finally, finally going to get, it, get around to doing it. So now you can see the phosphorus sitting inside the glass flask. But this time, the London organisers have revealed their mascot, which you can see on the screen behind me. So we've got a nice green colour, which won't stick around for long. We're here in Turin in Italy. I didn't expect it to be quite so... Wow! It's a real first for me. I've never met anybody who's discovered an element. Yeah, usually it is hidden in the vacuum box and you don't see it. So it's just a tiny speck in there, probably less than a milligram. And yet that'll be enough easily to, to kill a human being. So, I got a parcel this morning. I think I know what's in it, but I'm not sure. And I'm quite excited. Because actually that's the, the true colour of uranium. Same Today I'm going to tell you about a secret mark which shows if somebody's a properly initiated chemist. So here we have some sugar, common or garden supermarket sugar. According to the data on the internet, the World's Cup has five kilos of gold in it. And so it must be hollow. So once again, I've managed to decimate the <laughs> human. <laughs> As I rotate this filter over the sample of Caravan, I've been away for a few days and came back to find that Prince William is engaged. And as soon as we see something like that, it's an excuse for chemistry. I'm Dr. John Moses. I'm climbing Wales' highest mountain. I'm gonna head up there. I'm here in India, in Mumbai, what used to be called Bombay. The reaction started. We now have a column of carbon. <laughs> We're at the Asian Science Camp, and one of the speakers is Professor Richard Ernst, the um, Nobel Prize winner, and it's a great opportunity for me and Brady to talk to him. The periodic table is 100 microns long, 50 high. We could get a million of those periodic tables onto one of these post-it notes. Inserted the cube into the periodic table of the elements. For the chemist, I'd like to give him my time. Now this is one of my favorite lumps of matter in the world. And our overall winner is Katja Virtanen, who had a really subtle poster based on the film E.T. Neil, that's one for you, mate. <laughs>